My name is Humam Kadara. I'm a faculty at the uh, Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Genetics at AUB. The focus of our research group is to understand how cancer evolves from normal cells and we believe understanding these alterations will allow us to devise new strategies for early treatment. We perform technologies called next generation sequencing coupled with functional interrogation of genes. We try to sequence all possible alterations in uh, human and mouse lung tumors as well as in lesions that occur prior to the development of the tumor. We call these preneoplastic lesions. Also, we sequence and we study normal cells that have been exposed to smoking. The, here, our goal is to understand these alterations that happen in normal smoking exposed cells or in tissue abnormalities that occur prior to cancer with the goal of identifying um, alterations, what we call DNA mutations, or for example changes in genes that allow us to understand early changes in how cancer, lung cancer arises in smokers. Here we have experimental models that are genetically engineered mice that predispose to lung cancer and we treat, we expose these mice to tobacco carcinogen and smoking and we also have ongoing studies where we are exposing these mice to nargile, water pipe smoke chronically to understand perhaps different um, mechanisms early on in the development of lung cancer in these mice, not only in response to cigarette smoke, the known carcinogen to lung cancer, but also other potential causing agents such as nargile or water pipe. And we do not have any idea whether water pipe does induce lung cancer in animals. In the last two decades, the incidence of smoking in Lebanon has increased 475%. It's the second highest increase in smoking uh, worldwide in Lebanon. So we know smoking is causally related to lung cancer, but we do not know what changes happen early on. The lung cancer when diagnosed as a late stage is a fatal, is a death sentence. Uh, it's very hard to treat. It's notoriously aggressive to therapy and uh, uh, stage, th stage 4 lung cancers have an average survival rate of 5% uh, uh, within 5 years. We have been studying these normal cells and also lesions that occur in the lung, these tissue abnormalities that, are, that happen prior to development of lung cancer as well as lung cancers themselves. And here we are cataloging these at a genome-wide level, so the entire genome of the, hu of the human, these different gene expression changes. So we're not looking at one gene, we're looking at many, many, many genes at the same time. And we are able to identify gene expression changes that occur and alter molecular abnormalities that occur at the earliest stage and even before development of lung cancer. So in small tissue abnormalities that are this small even. So this allows us to, to say, if we are finding abnormalities in these very early, early lesions, we may perhaps treat them very early rather, rather than wait to the lung cancer till it explodes and disseminates and spreads in the body and then becomes lethal. They are now in accumulating evidence that suggests that immunity in our body is very heavily involved in how lung cancer grows and develops and even progresses and even responds to therapy. So we are trying to study how perhaps we can engage the immune system of uh, the individual and the cancer patient to better target lung cancer in its earlier stages. These efforts we are doing in cataloging all these early alterations in normal cells and early lesions preceding lung cancer is a multi-institutional collaboration around the world. We have, we've collaborated with uh, institutions in Japan, as well as multiple institutions in the U.S., uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center, Boston University, and University of California at Los Angeles. And so we, we are happy to say that our studies have put the American University of Beirut on the global map in lung cancer research and lung cancer genomics research.